a very good morning to everyone today we are going to discuss a very very interesting and important topic that is ventricular system in this system we are going to discuss how csf is produced in the central nervous system and how it circulates in the central nervous system and how it drives in the suprasagittal sinus now this is the coronal section of your brain coronal section of your brain this is for example this is the cere cerebrum this is a cerebrum this extension is our mid brain then this is the pons this is the medulla this is the pons and medulla and finally our spinal cord now i am going to tell you the ventricle important ventricle that is present in your central nervous system first this Two room-like structure. This is the two balloon-like structure. This is the two lateral ventricles which is present in the cerebrum. The cerebrum actually it is a compound of T lens cephala. T lens cephala. And this is the two thalamus just above the midbrain. Two thalamus just above the midbrain. in between the thalamus there is a ventricle which is the third ventricle which is the third ventricle this two lateral ventricles are second ventricle one is right and left left right lateral ventricle and left lateral ventricle this is the third ventricle which is between the two thalamus this area which is which is called diencephalon the thalamus hypothalamus and the third ventricle are the compounds of diencephalon and in the mid brain there is a extension the tube like structure there is a way this is called cerebral aqueduct cerebral aqueduct and this structure is called our fourth ventricle fourth ventricle okay fourth ventricle and this is our central canal now i am going to tell you how uh, the csf is produced how csf is produced csf is produced it is cerebro spinal fluid there are a special very very special structure which is present in the ventricle is called choroid plexus choroid plexus okay these are the choroid plexus this is very very special in the floor of the third ventricle in the floor of third ventricle in the floor of fourth ventricle this structure are present is called the choroid plexus what is the function of the choroid plexus means these are the special structure which produce our csf which produce of example the choroid plexus which produce the csf this choroid plexus also produce the csf which goes in this direction it goes in this direction and drains into our third ventricle drains into our third ventricle and this choroid uh, the the choroid plexus which is also present in the floor of third ventricle also produce csf will mix with the csf which comes from the second ventricle okay second ventricle then it goes in this direction downwards through the cerebral aqueduct cerebral aqueduct then it goes down and the choroid plexus which is also present in the floor of fourth ventricle also secretes csf will mix with the csf which is already coming from the second and the uh, third ventricle then the csf mix with the csf produced by the choroid plexus of the fourth ventricle then the csf goes in this direction okay now i'm going to 
tell you some important foramens which is present in the which is present in the ventricular system first is the foramen which drains into the third ventricle this opening opening of the second ventricle which drains into the third ventricle is called foramen of monroe foramen foramen means opening foramen of monroe then this is the foramen of monroe on the right uh, left side and the right side okay and there is a opening which is present at the lateral lateral side of the fourth ventricle what is that two lateral ventricles of the uh, two lateral foramen of the fourth ventricle is foramen of foramen of foramen of leshka leshka a stylish name right then a yeah, foramen which is present posterior posteriorly a foramen present posteriorly which is called foramen which is called foramen magnum foramen magnum sorry foramen magnetic magnetic foramen magnetic three important foramen one is at the second ventricle which opens into the third ventricle is called foramen of monroe second the two lateral two lateral foramen of the fourth ventricle two lateral foramen of fourth ventricle is foramen leshka and one more a big foramen which is present posterior to the fourth ventricle is foramen majentis this are very very important one more one more important point what is mean by cistern cistern means a dilated portion a dilated portion of the subarachnoid space in the sub dilated portion which is full of csf which is present in the subarachnoids in between the subarachnoid space is called what is that cistens this foramen leshka will opens opens in between the in between the for example posterior po, posterior to the pons and the medulla there will be a cerebellum in between the pons and the cerebellum there is a there is a space which is full of csf that that system is called pon cerebello pontine system in between the cerebellum and the pontine there is a system is called the cerebello pontine system in this system the foramen leshka opens the foramen leshka opens likewise in the in between the medulla and the cerebellum there is a system is called cerebello medullary system in the cerebello medullary system the foramen majendi open this is so important csf will goes through the subarachnoid goes to the subarachnoid space through the foramen leshka this this foramen leshka will opens into the system that is cerebello pontine system which is which uh, system which is present in the subarachnoid space likewise the cerebello medullary medullary system which opens in the subarachnoid which is present in the subarachnoid space and the foramen which is open open is called the foramen majendi now i'm going to tell the uh, we already studied about the meningeal coverings this is the this is the pia mater which is closely attached with the this is closely attached with the central nervous system this is the pia mater this is 
pia mater which is vascular which is closely attached with the central nervous system second is the arachnoid mater second is the arachnoid mater okay this is the uh, arachnoid mater under the arachnoid mater the space is sub arachnoid space this space is very very important i already had a lecture about the meningeal covering if you didn't see the lecture first see that and watch this video then you will have a clear concept about the meningeal coverings and the spaces which is present in the central nervous system okay okay this is the opening the opening uh, the foramen which is present lateral to the lateral to the fourth ventricle that is the foramen leshka the, the foramen leshka will opens here okay here that is the cerebello pontine system which is present which is present in the sub arachnoid space what is mean by system that is just a dilated portion where the abundant of csf okay so our csf will circulate which will comes out through the foramen leshka and goes in this direction like with this side also goes in this direction and also goes upwards in the sub arachnoid space it circulates after it reaches this it goes upwards then i am going to tell you like this is the pia mater and this is the arachnoid mater in between the uh, arach pia mater and the arachnoid mater the space is called the sub arachnoid space okay this is the sub arachnoid space and this is the dural covering uh, this is the meningeal covering of the dura mater this is the meningeal covering of the dura mater actually dura mater has a two coverings like the meningeal meningeal layer of the dura mater and the periosteal layer of the dura mater the dura mater which is closely attached with the periosteum is is the periosteal layer of the dura mater and dura mater is uh, close to the arachnoid mater then it is the meningeal layer of the dura mater there is actually there is no space in between the meningeal layer and the periosteum there is this this two layers which form a sinus which form a, the two layers of dura mater which form a sinus is called the supra above above sagittal in the sag sagittal okay sagittally form a sinus so it is called supra sagittal sinus which is formed by the dura mater then the to the supra sagittal sinus which is formed by the dura mater okay this finger like projection or the villi this or this finger like projection are called the arach arachnoid villi okay which is formed by the arachnoid mater the group of the projection the group of villi are called the uh, sub uh, arachnoid sub arachnoid granulation this are the granulations why this finger like process or goes into the supra sagittal
central sinus means already the CSF which is comes into the subarachnoid space through the opening of through the opening through two lateral opening that is the foramen lashka that enter into the the CSF enter into the subarachnoid space and goes in the subarachnoid space and goes into the sinus which is present uh, which is present in between the two layers of dura mater and it goes into the sinuses and the draining of the csf will occur there will be a uh, there will be a so many veins which is present in this area so drainage of the csf will csf will occurs in the suprasagittal sinus in the microvilli there will be a uh, small sm uh, small gate like structure small pores like structure through the pores the csf will enter into the through, through the opening the csf will enter into the suprasagittal sinus but the CSF will not re-enter. We can't re-enter through the villi. The drainage actually occurs in this space through the veins which is already present in the in the sinus. Okay, which is present in the sinus. First, how the CSF is formed means choroid plexus. Second, the flow of CSF will start from the two ventricles then to the third ventricle through the through the opening called foramen mondro it goes into the third ventricle after that through the cerebral aqueduct aqueduct it enters into the fourth ventricle then through the foramen it is called foramen mondro and the foramen majendi it enters the CSF enters into the subarachnoid space. It goes down and upwards and through the subarachnoid villi, which is present, which is which enters into the su uh, supra sagittal sinus. Through the projection, the CSF will enter into the sinuses and the drainage will occur in that sinus. Okay, these are some important points in the ventricular system. Okay, these are the very very important points in the ventricular system. That's all for today. Thank you.